hello students myself dr priti khatri assistant professor ims noida so today's topic uh, in computer graphics we will discuss about the display devices right so let's start the topic as you can see here the display devices display devices are of two types soft copy as well as hard copy devices so we will cover up the the soft copy devices right soft copy devices as you can see here these are the cathode ray tube which are known as the crt and flat panel display devices right in crt there are two categories some are the refreshed crts and some are the non refreshed crt in refreshed crt these are the raster and random scan devices and non refreshed there is a there comes a category that is called a dvst which is known as direct view storage tube and in flat panel which are the new technologies nowadays that these are the plasma panel and leds and non emissive that is called lcds and in hard copy like printer and plotter so we will not cover up this hard copy we will discuss about the soft copy devices so in this video we will discuss about the uh, some part of this display devices we will discuss about the black and white display devices so in black and white display devices we will discuss about the crts raster and random right so in this video we will cover up these three topics right cathode ray tube raster scan devices and random scan devices and uh, we will discuss all these uh, remaining uh, devices which are colored monitors like plasma panel leds lcds right and uh, some of the non refresh crts in the next video right so let's start what is crt crt is a display screen area which produces the images in the form of video signals right crt is a cathode ray tube mostly used in the televisions or in the monitor screen basically crt is a display screen where we can produce the images with the help of pixels right and then in the previous uh, video we have already discussed about the frame buffer frame buffer is used to store the picture definition store the value of the pixel in the form of 0 and 1 right so what is crt crt is a type of vacuum tube right which display images when the electron beam through the electron gun are struck on the phosphor surface so we can say that the crt generate crt basically uh, is a tube which consist of various components like it consist of the various types of electron it consist of electron gun cathode and node uh, right some positive charge some uh, negative charge screen and uh, some coating is there on the screen inside the screen and the picture will be displayed it will be more clear to you from the diagram so uh, like these are the components of the crt like it consists of the electron gun some deflection system is there there is a fluorescent screen control electrodes focusing system right so we will discuss each and every uh, topic uh, in very details uh, uh, with the help of this diagram so this is the diagram of crt tube as you can see here this is the basic diagram of crt right this is a uh, screen phosphor screen right and this is the the display area where uh, from where we can see the image right this is the display area and if we talk about the inside uh, elements of the crt if uh, start from here these are the pins right these are the pins right and this is the electron gun this is the red element uh, and uh, this red element and this one that is called a heater right and from this the electron gun basically electron gun is this when the electricity is applied the heater heating element will be heated and the electron gun basically generate the negative charge joints right the negative charge joints emitted from the electron gun right so here uh, if we talk about this electron gun right let's read from the electron gun the major role of this section is to produce electron very high velocity the electrons are produced very very high velocity the whole process is done by a process named called the thermomonic emission the filament present in the cathode ray tube is heated to a fixed point where the electron becomes loose so a node of the high speed is applied to it and the electron move towards the screen due to electrostatic attraction uh, uh, attraction so brightness of the image basically depending on the how much electron passes through the series of control grid uh, let's see from this diagram and and yes if the grid is more negative the image will be darker so this these all points will be clear from this diagram what it says this is the heating filament and inside the heating filament there is an electron gun when the uh, when the heating filament will be more heated the electron will be started emitted and these are negative charge joints and after the electron gun as you can see here some grid element is there this is a grid element right grid element basically what it does grid element basically controls controls these electrons it control the speed of the electrons right uh, like the, this point says uh, as you can see 
uh, you can read this point the brightness of the image is controlled by the electron passes through the series of the control grid basically brightness of the image is depending on this series of control grid and if grid is more negative then the image will be darker right jitni uh, as a more will be uh, more will be negative ions on the grid the image will be darker so uh, this uh, from this grid the electrons are passing now after this grid these are the some positive charge are there as you can see here these are this one this is called a pre accelerating anode right this is a pre accelerating anode and here after pre accelerating anode these are the pre accelerating anode these are the focusing anode and these are some focusing anode and these are accelerating anode so see these are the black black points are seen so anode are the positive charge ones so when electrons are of negative charge and grid also helps to move them further so these are the positive charge ions so negative charge will be attracted towards the positive charge so electron beam will come 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 here to the till here till this point right so what is the functioning of the, there are lots of difference between pre accelerating anode focusing anode as well as the accelerating anode so first uh, before the uh, after the grid there is a pre accelerating anode and then focusing anode and then accelerating anode right accelerator accelerating anode means to increase or decrease the speed of the electron so when when the negative charge ions come here till here so pre accelerating anode will control and uh, will increase the speed of the electrons and focusing anode basically focus where we have to focus the electrons on the screen it will focus and also help to the accelerating anode uh, also and uh, there is a uh, no difference between the pre accelerating anode and ac accelerating anode means uh, before the focusing anode and after the uh, focusing anode there is there are two anodes so before this focusing anode we can say that this is accelerating and pre accelerating and after focusing we can say that this is accelerating anode basically accelerating anode is used to increase and uh, increase or decrease the speed of the electron so our electron come till here right come till here now move to these points uh, we have already read this point now come to the deflection system we will read it later yes come here the control electrode control electrode is it is used to turn electricity beam on and off this is called control electrode and focusing system this one focusing system means this this focusing anode this one right what it does it is used to create a clear picture of focusing of electrons in the narrow beam means uh, focusing system means where to focus uh, and plus accelerating means it will uh, accelerate the speed of the electrons right and here uh, now come here after the accelerating anode there there is a deflection plates also as you can see here this yellow color this uh, there are two types of deflection vertical deflection as well as horizontal deflection these are the horizontal deflections and these are the these are as you can see vertical deflection plates vertical deflection plates are there so these are the vertical deflection plates uh, now what is the working of deflection plates reflection plate basically help to deflect these electrons when electron beam will be emitted and uh, from the positive charge and from the anode the electron beam come till here so now the deflection plate will help the electron beam where to deflect on the screen at which which point at what part of the screen where we have to deflect it will be deflected it depends on the uh, like you can say that uh, uh, it will collect the pixels uh, from the frame buffer whose in intensity is one it will collect those pixels and these will display these will be displayed inside the screen now this is the outer area of the screen but this is the inside area so inside this area there is a some coating is there coating of the phosphor right phosphor screen so in the if we talk about the uh, like old televisions there were uh, different types of phosphor were, were used because these were the black and white television here we we are talking about the black and white television so p uh, p1 p4 p31 p7 there are lots of phosphor which which we, which were used for the black and white television means uh, there were only two color produced black or white colors right so now now read this point deflection system what it does the deflection system control the image it control the image which are produced by the controlling position of the electron that hot the screen right uh, as you can see uh, we are talking about the deflection system that is the 
horizontal deflection system and this vertical deflection system we are talking about this one deflection system right so it consists of two perpendicular set of electric and magnetic field these are the horizontal and vertical axis so when the voltage is applied these uh, these fields are controlled they have to control this where we have to deflect the image now the fluorescent screen fluorescent screen means this we are talking about this one screen uh, which is uh, coated with the phosphor right so here come here fluorescent screen this screen displays where the electron are hitting on the crt this screen is coated with the material right it means uh, when the electron struck over it then it will produce a black and white color right uh, the material can be of zinc sulfide or it can be a phosphor right we have already discussed about this now now so this is overall the functioning of the crt how crt works so normally uh, the crt work uh, C, uh, this working of crt basically used for the uh, normal uh, black and white television now this is a most important point that is called a phosphor persistence what do you mean by phosphor persistence it is a measure of the time the phosphor brightness to drop to the one tenth of its, its initial value it means the tendency of a phosphor to continue to emit the light when no longer excited by the electron beam the higher the persistence better is the quality what do you mean by these points what do you mean by these lines what do you mean by persistence persistence means when persistence means uh, see from this diagram when the electron beam comes and when, when it strike on the screen so when suppose there is a pixel when it strike here when the pixel strike here so till how much time the pixel is uh, pixel will glow till how much time the pixel will glow so what is the persistence right when the pixel strike on the screen so at how much second how much time it will glow so it shows the persistence means we can say that persistence means the brightness to drop to the one tenth of its initial value we can calculate how much it will glow and it will be vanishes after some time right so when it strike there will be a glow will be produced for a small period of time and after that the pixel will be the uh, like you can say that the glow will be off right so at that time when the glow will be there uh, so the brightness can be dropped to one tenth of its initial value right so we can find out the persistence of a pixel so that's a, uh, that's all about the uh, crt so uh, these are the working of crt we have already discussed from this diagram right when the uh, like uh, movement of electron beam how electron beam move how the electrons come here and from the positive charge they uh, and with the help of deflection system how these are deflected on the screen right now the come here what are the advantages of crt yes advantages is uh, it was uh, like crt is, is very old technique right uh, so it operates at any resolution and uh, it can operate at any aspect ratio this is the advantage right crt done at a very high uh, pixel resolution cathode ray tube produce a very dark and black color we have already discussed it is best suited for rapidly moving and charging images and uh, they are producing very fast response time right but uh, and these are also very less, less expensive but if we talk about the disadvantages it has very very large disadvantages as compared to uh, our modern technologies right uh, their brightness is very very less as compared to if we talk about our leds lcds okay and uh, some crts are round spherical and cylindrical shapes but now our days our crts which are flat panel uh, televisions are there and uh, these are very heavy and bulky and uh, they consume lots of electricity right so based on the crt there come two technologies that is called raster scan displays as well as random scan displays these are also based on the uh, crts right and uh, these are also uh, uh, produce the black and white televisions no now let's start the raster scan displays now here what is raster scan display raster display is based on the intensity control of the pixel in the form of rectangular called the raster on the screen means the information is on or off in the refresh buffer this way we have already discussed what is the functioning of frame buffer or uh, refresh buffer the intensity of the pixel is stored in the frame buffer right so uh, here the uh, raster scan system can store the pixels or information of each pixel basically the, the, this is the main point uh, the raster uh, system has a refresh rate is 60 to 80 frames per second uh, let's see from this diagram it will be more clear to you this is the electron gun which we have already discussed uh, 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 this is the electron gun right uh, there is a crt basically crt system whole crt system is there and this is a display devices what is the uh, concept of raster scan when electron beam comes here so it will uh, it will cover the line and it will move the line from left to right right 
so it will uh, take the pixels from the frame buffer and the, those pixels which will be displayed on the screen it will be produced like here right it will be moved from left to right left to right left to right and uh, uh, when we uh, then it covers the whole screen then it will move to the again to the first line right so where 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 uh, like where at we have to uh, produce the pixels it will produce the pixels means as you can see here only those pixels will be there which have the value will be one and those pixels will not be there which have a frame of which have a value zero in the frame of right they, uh, they're working it will be more clear to you here this is a uh, this is a display screen and these are the lines right so when electron uh, this is the formula of the raster scan the electron beam will move from left to right it will scan the line it will scan the line one two three so on it will scan the line from uh, like uh, scan line zero then one two three and so on so it will uh, scan the whole line from left to right right so it will check which pixel intensity on and off right so it will produce the pixels here uh, whose intensity on and off right then it will move from first line to second line so as you can see here these are the dotted line dotted line shows that they here the intensity of this line is zero it will not produce uh, the pixels here it means when the line when the electron beam move from one line to another line at that time the intensity of the electron beam will be zero so again it will uh, scan the second line right so when the electron beam the uh, scan the line from left to right that is called a horizontal retracing method right so it will uh, zigzag zigzag method and it will come to the end point right it will come to the end of this line end of this point right so again it it have to draw the another image so it will move it will move again to the uh, starting of this it will again move to the starting of the first line so when the electron beam uh, ending to the uh, like uh, when the electron beam uh, starting from the end of this line and move again to the first line right that is called a vertical retracing for the uh, for trying to the next image right so i think from this it will be more clear to you the difference between the horizontal retracing and vertical retracing method so in this uh, way the raster scan technique works so uh, we have already discussed this basic working of raster scan uh, like uh, in this system a beam of electron move across the screen it move from top to bottom right and uh, when each uh, the electron beam move each row right the intensity is turned on and off and what is the horizontal retrace when each scan of the line is refreshed it return left to the screen and vertical retrace means when the left top uh, when in, uh, when it move to the uh, top left corner right and the picture definition we have already discussed uh, the picture definition stored in the frame buffer right so but but in raster scan system uh, there is some changes are there and interlacing effect also comes that is called a interlacing what is interlacing why interlacing is required interlacing means uh, suppose we want to increase the refresh rate of the screen so interlacing effect was used right what was the interlacing effect these are the lines uh, actually it divided the screen the number of odd lines and the number of even line numbers right so it uh, like one two uh, nine right it's one then uh, it's three then five right and uh, seven right so these are the numbers and uh, again uh, odd even numbers two four six and eight so uh, let's see here uh, tv video signals are graphically interlaced which means every full screen of the information is made up of two separate fields which include odd field as well as the even field actually it uh, like you can say that in interlacing effect it separate it make a two two separate portion the even number of lines as well as odd number of lines right first the odd number of lines are printed on the graphical screen then even line number printed but, uh, how does electron beam work in the interlacing when the electron beam move uh, first it cover all the odd number of lines means first it cover the one three five seven and so on it will cover the odd number of lines and uh, when we when it will end the end of the sc uh, screen then again uh, move to the move to the starting and again cover the even number of lines like two six uh, two four six and eight and so on right so what is the benefit of interlacing it uh, it, it increases the resolution of the uh, display screen that's why interlacing effect it was the technique used in the raster so that's all about the raster scan display uh, right so uh, let's see the uh, we have already discussed the refresh rate 30 to 80 uh, 60 frames per second and uh, the, the if we talk about the advantages it has a very high resolution smooth lines are produced with the help of this 
right but the disadvantage is, is that it cannot display realistic shade screen right because it's uh, there are lots of problems in the random scan like uh, there is a, if we talk about if we compare with the modern technologies it has a very low refresh rate resolution was very low and uh, it does not produce the realistic shade screen right now come to the yes 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 now come to the this one random scan race yes, yes yes we were here we are talking about the advantages of uh, this one random scan as uh, uh, random scan display devices right random scan what is the difference between raster and random this uh, actually raster scan display uh, that uh, which we have discussed the problem in this uh, random scan display like uh, high resolution it does not play, uh, display realistic shade screen these are also the problem of raster scan basically right uh, right raster and random now come to the random scan displays random what is the difference between a random scan display and raster scan display in raster scan display basically the image is produced in the form of pixels right the image is produced in the form of pixels but in random scan display the image is produced in the form of lines like the electron beam moves a uh, sleep across each line and it produced one line basically this technology random scan display technology is used uh, uh, like you can say that random scan technology is used uh, for plotting plotting device you can say that's the best example of random scan displays right so there is a little di a bit difference between the raster and random basically uh, like if we talk about the advantages the advantages are the same like uh, both are used for displays we have already discussed for uh, like random scan is for uh, drawing the lines and raster scan uh, basically drawing the lines but with the help of pixels right resolution is high in both uh, in both the techniques like in random scan and uh, in uh, raster scan both have a riser uh, high resolution right and both have a same uh, uh, like uh, uh, same resolution 30 to 60 frame and uh, random scan yes it's very important random scan is known as vector display stroke writing display and calligraphic display also right so uh, as you can see here from this diagram this is the working of random scan random scan display it will produce single line at a one at a time right plotter is a uh, best example so that's all about the today's topic that is called a crt we have discussed about the crt raster scan and random, random scan and all are the uh, black and white uh, black and white crt devices so thank you all thank you